Hello, hello, hello. What is that brightness? There we go. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to um, Teresa's Spot for Step-by-Step -step Acrylic Art. I am Teresa, where I love um, teaching creatives and crafters how to paint for fun and profit. And welcome, welcome, welcome. It is our free complimentary paint night on Thursdays here in the group, and we are painting Girls Trip. Here's my tracer, and I've traced it on um let me put a comment in here so we can get started this way i know if i have a comment i can see when it moves and who is commenting and then i can see if i have questions otherwise i don't know so anyway hello i don't know what that glare is so i'll move over a little bit well, i know what the, the glare is the sun but um so I have my tracer. I have traced onto my canvas already. I don't know if you guys have. I use um, this graphite paper to trace. I'll show you guys real quick, but I'm not going to do it live tonight. So I have my canvas. I will line up my tracer on my surface, my canvas, whatever it is. I usually take a little piece of tape and tape it down. And then I slide my graphite paper in underneath. Just pretend this was hinged and went like this, and I slid it in. And then I take the back of a brush or a pen or a pencil, and I trace it on. Okay? Um, this might be a little complicated to freehand, but you could. We should have a freehand. I cannot draw, you guys. But we can. I will show you how I do things for freehand um, one of these nights. So that's a, that would be a great lesson for you all. Um, but anyway, so here we go. I am painting on an 11 by 14. Let me move my stuff out of the way. I have my paints ready to go. When you hop on, say hi. Let me know if this is your first time watching. And also, um, let me know if you're painting along or you are going to um, paint after, okay? So I'm getting out, this is a little bit of turquoise. I have a bunch of blues over here too because believe it or not, I have another live at eight. So let me tell you guys this I'll, while I get out my paint, okay? Tonight on the page, on my um, regular business page, Teresa's Silhouette Spot for All Things Art, is DIY Maker Matchup Night with Angie from ADP Design Studios. Okay, she sent me, I don't know if you saw it, but she sent me a box of supplies. And I have to create something from that box on a live tonight at eight o'clock. I just opened the box at six o'clock. Actually, I did it live. And I was prepping for this class and I opened the box so I've had a little bit of time to think about it but not a lot so I don't know what I'm gonna do thankfully it's a little bit nautical themed so I think I can manage to figure something out but it does have a few unique supplies in it and then I needed to have some wine glasses and a wine bottle but we shall see. So that's for 8 o'clock. So if you wanted to like watch that and have some laughs and see me be stumped, that will be after this. Okay? And that will be on my main business page. Anyway, so up there, the sunflowers with the bicycle. That's what I painted last night in the Zoom. If you missed it, it was a great class. Um, lots of fun. It was about mm, six people or so, and that is perfect. But anyway, yeah, it was a good night. I love painting that design. And that was last night, the premiere class in the Zoom. So let me turn me, ar or me around. Let me turn my camera around. Let me get my brush. Okay, so we have, this is split into three sections. Sky, water, sand. And we are going to start with the water. Now you can make your water any color you want. I'm doing mine a bit of a turquoisey blue. But if you wanted to do yours more of an aqua or more of a dark blue, it's totally up to you. I'm using the colors that we had on the supply list. 
and this is like a little bit of a turquoise blue. I'm mixing a little bit of white with it and I'm just adding in my water and I'm going to wrap my canvas tonight as we paint. Okay, so remember the tracer, the supply list, and the um, video all stay in this group. So if you've come on to paint with me and you can't finish or you want to paint it again or paint it at a different time, you have access to everything you need to paint this for your own um, personal use. Okay, you can't use this for paint parties or sell it or make kits out of it any or anything like that. But if you wanted to just paint for fun, have a family night, paint fun night, um, go right ahead. Girls night, girls trip, girls night, whatever. Okay, so it might be a little bit hard for you to see, but there are two, let me get a different brush. I'll use this round. There are two little areas in here between them that is also water so I want to paint those in before I forget and mess up the same goes for the bottom there's a, two little areas between their bodies that um, is sand okay and we don't want to forget those either. So that's it. Okay, now I'm not gonna even clean my brush and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the dark blue just on the very end of my brush. And I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna darken up my horizon line. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but it's very important when you're painting um, seascapes, sunsets, that your horizon line be straight, believe it or not. It can really throw off your painting. I often tend to use a, um, a square, a T-square, if I'm doing a big painting and I have to get my horizon line exactly straight. You probably don't know this, but the horizon line is straight. So when you're looking out, sometimes it's wavy and whatnot, but when you're looking out over the ocean, the horizon line is straight. That's how explorers were able to um, navigate the waters back in the day. It was a combination of things, but that was one of the ways. So now I'm going to um, leave my brush dirty. Now I went over my seagulls with black so they stand out. And again, if you've been painting with me for a while, like most of you have, you know I paint the way I color and I will go in here and outline first before I start painting. And I have not even cleaned my brush. So I had the turquoise. You can see my brush is still dirty. I had the turquoise the white, the navy, and then I just picked up extra white on my dirty brush. I did some outlining of my hats and my little sunbather women. And now I'm just going in and I'm filling in the rest of the sky. Um, can you see me? Yeah, you can see me. If you start getting a little washed out, you can pick up a little bit more of your turquoise and I like this but it's only two blues and a white and you end up getting a nice variation for the sky and the water just using these couple of colors if you want your sky darker or you want more of a sunset effect it's up to you it's your project it's your art you can do whatever you want oh a little too much blue in there so I'm just going to have to get a little bit more white. So. And like I said, because I'm on this 11 by 14 canvas and the nature of this painting with the um, layers of the sky and the sand, I'm wrapping around 
my color. You know, sometimes I do those fancy borders around. Oh, what is that? A little piece of my string. Boop. Um, but I'm just having everything match now with this. So I have my sky and my water, my horizon line in here already. Now I have a little bit too much um, darkness up in here. So I wanted to add a little bit more white to it. And spread it out a little bit. There. So I went over my seagulls. We could add them in later or um, like I did, you can go over them either with darker pencil. I went over mine with Sharpies just so I can find them later. Okay? So we have our sky and our water. And we're ready to move on. So now I am going to um, clean my brush. Because we're going to be moving on to the hats. So now I have I have a couple of colors here because I have burnt sienna. But this one was almost empty, so I think I'm going to be mixing it with a little cinnamon because this is my last burnt sienna. So I have some cinnamon here. They're very, very similar. But this way, I'm not doing some in burnt sienna and some in cinnamon. I'm going to mix them right now so I have more paint. Get a nice blend right off the bat. They, like I said, they're very similar anyway, but this way I'll mix it and I'll make sure I have enough and this way I'm not mixing and mixing. So, uh, you guys, did you know that I just got back from beautiful Costa Rica? We're on vacation there. So this was like the perfect, um, project to be doing tonight. Now I outlined my bows. You really don't have to. And it was probably I shouldn't have because I'm going right over them with the hats. And we're just doing the base coat of the hats. Yeah. So you know me, I'm always turning my projects, right? So I'm going to show you guys a trick, which I've showed you before, but I'm going to show you guys a trick. So this one, I base coated totally, let's say, burnt sienna. I mixed mine with the cinnamon, but you can't even hardly tell. Okay? For the next hat, I'm going to double load. I'm going to pick up some cinnamon and a little bit of white, and I want the white to the inside. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to start with my hat, this hat. A little bit of dark out there. What I wanted, well, aside from being a beach lover and just totally loving this design, what another thing I love about it is, again, and this, you know, I try to be very generous with you guys on my free page. I know I have the paid page and I would love for you guys to come join me for some of my paid Zooms. That would be awesome. They're a little bit different and we're on Zoom and um, I can help you more. But that's okay. That was not the point of my story. What was the point of my story? <laughs> I know. Oh! So I was saying generous and I love this. So this, you guys, so you can turn this into two people, one person, four people, whatever you want. You can just use these hats. This person can be sitting on a bench. And again, I'm going to pick up some white. Um, it's so versatile. 
So I love when I do these paintings with you guys and they're just teaching you more than to paint this. You know, I give some little tips and or usually every design we do has more to it than just what you see on the surface. So you can take this draw this painting, this design and paint more than one person, make the hats different colors, um, make the hair different colors. They can all match. They could, so many things you can do. All the same hats. They could be red hats. They could be blue hats. They could be purple hats. Whatever you want. Okay. So, because I did these with the blend and I didn't do this one with the blend, I'm going to go in here and now I'm just going to pick up white. And I'm just going to do a little bit of white where the middle of the hats are and then around the outside. Because we want our hats to be a combination of white, light, dark, shading, All right? Pick up a little bit more white and then we're going to do this part up in here. And add a little bit more light in here. See how we have all these different blends going on? Okay. And then pick up a little bit more white in here. And do this part in here. because we want some darker to the outside and then some lighter to the inside and then some dark around the center of the hat where it's going to be shaded but we're going to go back in there for shading let me wipe that off a little bit because I want this center to be a little bit lighter same thing with this one So now we have the bases of our hats down. And yes, I'm following step by step here because uh, um, this way I don't miss a step for you guys. If I miss a step for me, I can go back and fix it. If I miss a step for you, it's harder for you to go back and fix it. So I like to um, follow my steps here so I don't miss anything and mess you guys up. Okay? So now I'm going to go back to our blue, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the blue. It's kind of thick, my blue, so I'm just going to pick up some white in there. And this is Ink Spot. Yeah, it's about as, almost as dark, except for like the Prussian blue. It's almost as dark as you can get. And now I'm going to start adding a little bit of shading to our hats. Now, if you shade some and you think it's too much, you can just add a little bit of the burnt sienna, the hat color, back to your shading part, and that will fix that. Remember, it's paint. We can fix anything. And then if you start to run out, like I did, go pick up a little bit more. And I love in this painting the idea of using the blue for the shading. So, add a little bit of shading on there. Okay. And then I'm going to come down to this one. See, like right there, I got a little too much blue. But I had a lot of paint in there. So. I don't know why my computer tends to be running. Can you hear my fan going? That's a new thing. I don't know why. So because my burnt sienna or my brown or whatever color it is you use for your hat is still a little wet, it's doing a nice blend here with the shading. Move this. 
and I'm just doing you know the one side following the shape of the hat so yes we were in Costa Rica last week and now daughter number two came home because she had some stuff to do here and it was her birthday so we had um, a little bit of a celebration for that she just turned 26 um, a little water and so she'll be home for a little bit she came home to see her friends one of her dear friends since they were three is graduating from vet school we're so proud of him and so his family is having a big party for him in a week or so so yeah so proud it's amazing know this kid so long and to just know that um, even at three years old he was so smart and determined that the fact that he is graduating from vet school does not even surprise me. So we can't wait to celebrate with him. So there was no way daughter number two was going to miss that. Okay. So got a little bit of shading on there. And now... I washed my brush and now we're going to go working on our skin tones and again this painting is very versatile you can do whatever you want with it um you can make your skin tones like in nature they're all a variety right so you can make them as dark or as light as you want you can make them all the same you can make them different And I'm just going to get started with this one. I'm following along with our sample picture that I posted in the group. Because I think it's easier for you guys when you have the sample to know what I'm doing. And you have the picture and you can look at the picture and you can follow me on the video. And everything is consistent. But if you wanted to change it up a little bit, go right ahead. Or when you paint it again, you want to change it up a little bit. Say you want to give a gift for someone. And you want them to be all blonde or all redheads or all br brunettes, whatever it is. It's, you know, your art. You can do whatever you want. And yes, you can paint this for a gift for someone. You just can't paint this to sell it. And if you see, I'm holding my brush way down low here because you have much more control over it. And also, I know that this is all blending into each other, but it's still important when I do separate parts that I paint them separate because we want our brush strokes to go the way of the shape. So I'm not just going to come in here and do both the leg and the arm with the same strokes. I mean, you could do it if you want to fill it in like that and then go back over each section separately. You can. But I just as soon paint them in separate to begin with. And I'm using this brush. You can use a smaller brush. But I'm using this brush and I'm standing it up on the chisel edge to fit into these little tiny spaces. And there we go. Okay. I want to put out a little bit. I think you guys have peach on your list, but I'm going to put out a little bit of this peach. It's actually called light flesh. And I need a little bit more white as well because we're always dipping in the white. So for this, the skin tones, the hat blending, this is a little bit, you know, this might be a little bit more complicated for some of you, but don't be nervous. It's just art, right? 
it's just art it can't be wrong we're just painting for fun and a little practice it's all good all right if you want to paint it again that's totally fine too and we're just having a good time right it's just paint we don't want to be no huffing no stressing out it's just paint you don't love it take the canvas paint right over it and there you have it okay and then this is lake and like I said there's a couple of tricky points in here where you can see this little spot and this little spot here are sand. And I'm going to get my smaller brush for her back. Her hair's a little long, but you want to make sure her back stands out. So I'm going to get the smaller brush for that. Okay. What do you guys think so far? I'll hold it up in a second. I'm just going to use this brush to get in here and do her back part. And while I have this out, I'm going to go back in here. I'm picking up a little bit of this dark that I made. And I'm going in. And I'm just adding some shading. To the insides. Okay. So this is like a just a mixture of the burnt sienna the white and then the light flesh that I added in here and you don't want it to look stripey so if your shading is starting a little look a little stripey just pick up um, the light color and go in there and fix it now because this skin tone was a little bit darker I'm just going in here with all of my dark sienna and doing my shading instead of mixing it with the white or the flesh get some shading in here under here it'll be darker under this hair okay I'm going to do a little bit of under here as well. And I'm, it's really, um, honestly, when you were doing in here, like with the shading and stuff under the hair, it's almost as, as if I'm just using a dirty brush. Again, you guys can have matching bathing suits. You can have different color bathing suits. Whatever you want. I'm going to put out a drop of red. A drop of purple. Oops. Hate when that happens. And then a drop of yellow. I want my yellow to be a little bit more... Um, goldish though so I think I might add some of the sienna to it there we go so let me turn you guys around so you can see what we have so far how are we doing for time okay good so we have um, our turquoise water with a little bit of dark up here for the um, horizon line we did our sky with our dirty brush which is still the turquoise and mostly white then we went in and we did the base coat for our hats with some sienna and white to lighten it up. And we shaded it with the navy. We shaded our hats with the navy blue that we have out. And then we went in and we did our skin tones. Okay, and you could do them, the hats any colors, the skin tones any colors, whatever you want to do. All right. So that's where we are at. Okay, so moving on. 
Moving on to bathing suits. And don't forget, you guys, I would love to see your artwork. Share it in the group. It's a closed group. It is only for the people in the group to see. It's a judgment-free zone. If you share your artwork, I can give you some feedback. Oh, I didn't turn me over. Oops, sorry. Just doing the bathing suits. Share your artwork. I can give you some feedback. Okay. I'm saying I have to look and see. I threw the garbage away. I'm not loving these. Oh, I buy these before. So these are Artist Loft canvases. And they're weird tonight. I don't know why. I used Artist Loft. I have plenty of Artist Loft. Maybe this was a bad batch. Who the heck knows, but... The surface is really bizarre. So again, I'm using my bigger brush, but I'm using it standing up, and we all know that is the chisel edge. Okay. And this is the back of the bathing suit. That's a little bit of flesh sticking out. And I'm just putting this in. So our girls are a little curvy. So you can make your girls less curvy if you wanted to, too. After almost 11 years working full-time at my desk job, I've become a little curvy, too. So it's okay. And you might be saying we didn't do the sand yet. I know. We will. Don't fret. Okay. Wash my brush. And we'll move on to our purple suit. You may need two coats of paint for your bathing suits. I will not for my red. I don't know if I will for my um, purple and yellow, but we will see. Yellow, I've said this to you guys before, tends to be a little translucent. There's a little schmeg on there. So it's possible um, I will need to do a second coat for the yellow. And we will see about the purple. Okay. Oops. There's our purple. I'm going to wash my brush. I got a little bit on there. Let me see if I can get that off. Get clean paper towel. So when I have something on there that I don't like, you have to fold your paper towel and you want to get to a point. Okay, then I'm going to dip my point in the water. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just try and wash this off a little bit. I change my point. Oops. I wouldn't necessarily worry about it, but since my sand is going to go in there, it's going to be hard for my sand to cover over the purple. I can do it, but it just takes a little bit of time. So, I want to drop my brush. Okay, that's it. So, I'm fine with how that looks now. It's just a little bit lighter, so that's good. Okay, now, I'm, like I said, I'm going to mix up a little bit of this sienna with my yellow because I want a little bit more of a golden color for this bathing suit. 
okay so just a little bit of a corner and also now that I'm doing this I may not have to do two coats on this bathing suit we shall see okay So last week, Costa Rica was amazing. We ate the best food. We went to the beach a bunch of times. We went ATVing. We went fishing. It was um, APHFM's 60th birthday. And so big family trip, all his girls, his harem. Um, off to Costa Rica and we had a really good time so my two girls daughters number one and two the one that lives there plus my older one who lives in Atlanta and then my stepdaughter and her fiance and we had a blast okay yeah no I don't need to do a second one I darkened that up I wanted a little bit of gold color as opposed to just the yellow and I like it and I don't need a second coat okay and while I have this on my brush I might need a little bit more yellow but I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do this one's hair by now my um, red has dried and I can come in here and base coat my hair while my brush is still dirty. So if you are watching me on the replay, um, you did not have to trace out your bows. If you did, that's fine. If you didn't, that's fine too. Okay. So now I'm just gonna pick up a corner and I'm going to start adding some, like, a little bit of low lights to our hair a little bit. Adding them in here, little streakies. Just on the corner, pulling through, and blending in. We don't want all our hair to be one color. Okay? Okay. So we have that. Now I'm going to wash my brush. And we're going to do the same thing with the next one. Oh, what happened to my brush? Hmm. Only this time, I'm going to take this and I'm going to add a little red to it. So we get a little bit of like an auburn. So we're using our burnt sienna and we add a little bit of red to it. See that? I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to do her hair. Okay. A little bit more. And then I have a little bit, hmm, let me just do a dot of, I have some burnt umber. I'll use my burnt umber. If you don't have burnt umber, you can use your, um, your burnt sienna and add a little bit of black to it. Like just a drop. You guys know a little bit of black goes a very long way. So if you don't have a dark brown, just use your burnt sienna and add like just a corner drop of black.
This um, canvas, you guys, seems to be shedding. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope not. But yeah, it's weird. Okay. Wash my brush. Let me see. I could have left my brush. So I'm going to go in. I want to add in a little bit of highlights and low lights to our hair and I'm just picking up a little bit of this um, the burnt sienna and the dark brown and I'm almost dry brushing in some lines in here it's not dark just to give our hair a little bit of texture okay and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the same colors on the brown here almost I'm using the chisel edge and almost like dry brushing in you could add a little bit of highlight to this one too right the hair's dark Oh, that's too much. Oh, don't like that. Oh, but that's nice when I go over it. That's good. Okay. All right. And then I can even do a little bit in here. Again, don't worry, like I just did, you put a little too much brown, go pick up your yellow, put a little bit more in of the yellow, it's all good. space up in here so I'm just gonna go up in here and pull a little bit more and there we go so now I will wash my brush and go back to the line of brush okay what colors oh we match right so first thing I'm gonna do is gonna pick up some red which I might need a little bit more of Okay, and I'm going to use this round brush and I'm going to go around the hat. Okay. Nice big ribbony sweeping circle. Okay, then I'm going to make the middle of my bow, big lump, right? I need a little water again because this is kind of thick. I wonder why my, these paints are so thick, I don't know. Okay, now we're going to come over here we're going to make one loop and this is something you might want to practice on some um, scrap paper first two loops and then the part that hangs down the little 
extra ribbon part. You want to start out fat with your brush and then as you work your way down get a little skinnier. Okay, so we got that guy done. That girl, that girl done. Okay, right. I'm going to do the same thing with the purple. Pick up a nice amount of purple. I'm going to go up in here. I'm going to put the ribbon for our purple hat. And you want this to be um, within the shading. So I have my brown hat color, I have my shading, then I have my ribbon. Okay? And again, do the middle of the ribbon. And then I'm going to put one bow. The other loop. And a little bit purple. And come down. Fat. And then get narrow. Fat. And then get narrow. Okay? And our last one. Last but not least. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this in here. Give it a little bit more of the golden color. All right. And then the center. And then again, one loop. Two loops. And then the ribbon hanging down. And while we let all of that dry, we're going to work on our sand. Now I have some nice fresh white here. I'm going to mix a tiny, tiny bit of my cinnamon, burnt umber color. It's almost this color of our flesh, but it's a little bit lighter. Now we could leave our white white, but I don't like to do that. I like to paint my white. And again, I'm going to be using this mixture and some fresh white. And then I'm going to show you, we're even going to go in and we're going to add some shading under their butts. Okay. Okay. And again, I like to do the sides when I do paintings like this. You guys see I'm on, right? Yeah. You might not even be able to tell that I'm painting this. I could just be sitting here with a dry brush going la di da di da from the color of it is on yours. But no, actually I'm painting. How did that happen? How did I get paint up here on my arm? I don't know. I wish you guys could see this, the quality of this canvas. I'm really not loving it. It's a two pack. I'm going to have to see if this other one does the same thing. Let's 
to now. Got our sand. Let me do this edge here. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in here, I guess to this one, and mix up a little bit darker. So I want to just add some shadows under where they're sitting. It's almost like you can't even, like I can tell, I don't know if you can tell. It has to do with the lighting and whatnot of, and me being here, but I'm just adding a little bit of shade under where they're sitting. Add some more white in here. That's right. If I lighten up the white, then by contrast, it darkens up my dark. Right? What do you guys think? Now, we can um, we can add some grasses if we want. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go in and I'm going to start adding in some white highlights. And you're going to see how this is going to start to really pop. And you can put your highlights everywhere where I'm putting them. You can decide to put them someplace else. Wherever you, oh, my bow. Wherever you think. Should get some highlight. Again with the bow. Our last hat. Oh, I picked up a little purple there. Let me wipe that off. Okay. And don't forget, so if you did not paint with me tonight, this stays in the group. Oh, I forgot the sand part, you guys. Remember? Right in there, those two holes. And I cleaned the one out of the purple just so I wouldn't mess up. And then I forgot about it anyway. There we go. And then this one. Okay. Now I'm going to just start adding a little bit of some black outline. I'm not going to outline everything. But a lot. just really makes the hats pop.
if you are more comfortable with a paint pen you can use a paint pen for this part but um, the only thing is you have to totally wait for your paint to dry before you start paint penning. That's really why I don't use them um, because I'm not patient, <laughs> honestly. See, I'm not doing everything. I'm just doing some lines with the black. I like to do the hat though. I feel like it really helps the hat to pop and honestly the hats on this painting are like my favorite. Like I feel like I could do so much with these hats even just by themselves. Oh, let's do a little bit of this. Scoop. 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 And there we have it. Now, I might add a little bit of um, grasses to mine. I don't know. We shall see. But anyway, there we have it. What do you guys think? Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I forgot my seagulls. How did I forget my seagulls? I'll turn you around one more second. Seagulls are easy. These seagulls are easy anyway. So you take your black, you do one little straight line, and then you do an M. How easy is that? Straight line, and an M, straight line, and an M. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of white to them. Other than that, that's it. Okay. Voila! Now I'll turn you guys around. And there you have it. What do you guys think? So, there's our girls' trip. Let me know if you are doing a girls' trip where you would like to go. I think you all know I would like to go to Costa Rica. Even though I just came back, it is such a beautiful country. Um, the weather is perfect, and you guys know I love the warm weather, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, just fixing this. I don't like that part right there sticking out. Under her butt. I got a little crazy with the black. Anyway, so there we go. There's my, uh, girl's trip. Anyway, so, love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I will be posting... Um, June's very soon. I think for June, um, we'll be doing the second gnome. So we're going to do a patriotic gnome for Zoom, for Zoom, for June. June's, um, class at the end of the month is going, at the end of June will be, um, the patriotic gnome. Remember we did the tall gnome for the spring with the spring flowers? I could, I could get it for you guys. I'll show you right one, one second. So we did this one, I think in April. So we're going to do a patriotic one for June so you guys can have it for um, 4th of July if you want, okay? So that is what's coming up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Love you guys. Have a great night.